Hello and welcome to my topic analysis presentation. Today we will be looking at the impact of digital photography, specifically photojournalism, in our modern day and age. This has been a really fun topic for me to tackle because I am receiving my degree in journalism and photography is a key component to that craft. Before we dive into this topic, let me briefly give a history of photojournalism. Photojournalism began in World War II in the mid-20th century. Photography had existed since the mid-19th century, but people did not realize that they could use photos to tell stories, and that all changed when World War II began. Throughout the last two decades, photos have played an integral part in receiving news. It doesn't matter what news category, visual components greatly enhance the story's effectiveness. Photos add a second dimension to the story and they help draw readers to the website. Imagine scrolling through your news feed and seeing something like this. Although the content of this article is actually really fascinating, no one will ever click on it. There aren't any visual elements to draw the reader to the web page. Every single link should have a good photo attached to it. Now, contrast that previous photo to this photo. Here, we have a great photo acting as the link to this story. This photo, along with an informative, enticing headline, do a great job drawing the reader to the website. I actually wrote this story for the Champion, Liberty University's student-run newspaper, and it generated well over 30,000 views online. And of course, that's excluding the 16,000 circulating print newspapers. As you can tell, this is the exact same headline as the previous image, but the photo gives the link credibility. So while writing is the most important and foundational component to storytelling, photos greatly enhance the reading experience. Photojournalism seeks to capture action, emotion, and symbolism. Have you ever heard of the saying, a picture is worth 1,000 words? A photojournalist's goal is to tell a story through the camera lens capturing the story's essence in just one click of the button. This requires them to take pictures of action, emotion, and different symbols. So for my first example, this is an example of action photojournalism. Consider this fantastic Pulitzer Prize winning photo. Without even reading the headline or clicking on the story, I already know what this story will be about and I know the contents will be interesting. Even though this photo does not have any color, the image still draws my attention by capturing action and emotion. When your eyes glance over this image, you understand that someone is about to shoot someone else, and you even see the distraught expression on the victim's face. So, although an unfortunate event this is an amazing work of photojournalism, and it's why uh, it won such a prestigious photography award. For my second example, this, an, this is an example of an emotional photo. So on a brighter note, here's a photo that elicits strong emotions. Here, a girl is about to embrace her father. Evidently, she has not seen him in many months or years, and he is returning from war. Similar to the previous photo, this image tells you the story right off the bat. This photo alone explains the story in 1,000 words, referring to the old adage. This soldier is about to embrace his family after being in Vietnam for a very long time. For my third and final example, here's a story, uh, an example of a story I wrote for Liberty's campus newspaper. And this is a good example of the inclusion of symbolism in photojournalism. At first glance, this is automatically a controversial photo. But that's okay. Include controversy because people will engage in the controversial content. That's something a lot of people tend to forget. 
uh, in this photo, several Liberty students, in fact, all seven liberals on Liberty's campus, participated in an LGBTQ plus and hashtag Me Too demonstration following pro-conservative statements from Donald Trump Jr. and Becky Falwell at the Conservative Political Action Conference back in March of 2019. The pride flag is very eye-popping. It's a very eye-popping symbol. It is also very politically controversial. So including this photo as a story thumbnail is a really good idea. It's better than taking a picture of just a bunch of people. So this brings us to the digital age of photography. In around year 20,000, closer to 2005, the demand for digital photography shot up drastically. Previously, images were captured on a film camera, which is limited in space. Digital photos can be stored on a small SD card, a light, portable object that can connect to almost every computer. These SD cards vary in size, but they can store much, much more than the typical film camera. And you can distribute the images quicker and more efficiently. You can also edit them straight from your computer, which is really convenient. Overall, digital photography has made photos in every category better. The only lacking component in digital photography is that its predecessor has a very nostalgic aesthetic uh, to the image. Film was not as clear, but it, it included an interesting layer of crispness that goes unnoticed unless you edit the image in Photoshop of some other, or some other editing platform. Finally, I want to address a very interesting trend in digital photography. This trend lasted for roughly 10 to 15 years, and it has officially been settled with the growing demand for smartphones. Automatic cameras snapped JPEGs, which are very low quality but clear photographs. These small portable devices were meant to capture quick moments like family photos at the beach or photos of your family pet, but with the rise of smartphones, which take the exact same quality photo, automatic cameras slowly shuddered into the past, pun intended. The digital age has definitely made its mark on the modern culture. However, photography, specifically photojournalism, has probably changed the least. Although the technology has significantly increased, the methods for obtaining good photos remains almost the same. The Pulitzer Prize winning photos I showed earlier, although taken with an old film camera, would remain fabulous in today's digital day and age. Although cameras have shifted from film to digital, actions and emotions will always be unaffected by time and technological advancement.